Madeira Beach, Florida has been a video that's been requested quite a few times and we are finally taking you there. Follow along as we head to our favorite coffee shop in the area, check out famous John's Pass, and see where we grab lunch. We're about to have a great day in Madeira Beach. We started our day with coffee to go from Sweet Brunette. This is my favorite coffee shop in Madeira Beach. They always have unique lattes. For example, once they had a key lime pie latte, and I love coffee shops that come up with their own creations. I got something pretty standard on this day, which was really, really good too. They have good breakfast, and also all of their employees are always so welcoming. So yeah, it's just my favorite coffee shop in Madeira Beach. From Sweet Brunette, we made our way to the famous John's Pass. Today on our Tampa Bay Beach tour, we are in Madeira Beach. So we are starting our morning at John's Pass. Actually, we started our morning at Sweet Brunette. This is a pumpkin latte. It's the best one I've had this season so far. Um, so anyways, that's a great place to start. It's just down the road, a few blocks. John's Pass is a really cool area. It's full of shopping, dining, there's drinks. It's right on the water. Um, I'm gonna tell you all about the history of John's Pass because it's really cool. But first, let's show you around. I love it here. Um, it's earlier in the morning, so it's not very busy yet. It can get very busy here, so just keep that in mind. We were lucky to get parking right away, but it's not uncommon to have to wait a little while. So I do recommend getting here early if this is going to be a part of your day. Or maybe you can walk here from the beach after you spend the morning enjoying the beautiful beach because the beach here is beautiful too. All right, so we're at John's Pass. Let's get going in Madeira Beach, Florida. Right off the bat, our day is starting really cool because Mitchell just spotted the Batmobile. It's right there. Check it out. He's gathering quite a crowd here. <laughs> Look at all these people. Oh my God, it retracts closed automatically. Look at the top. As I mentioned, there is plenty of shopping at John's Pass, and this ranges from your typical tourist type of shop where you can buy shirts with the location on them to shops that are a little bit more upscale. There's a little bit of something for everyone in John's Pass. Let's talk about renting boats at John's Pass in Madeira Beach. I did not mention earlier that this is a great place to rent jet skis. That's because John's Pass is located right inside an inlet with direct access to the Gulf. So you can rent a jet ski and you'll be in the Gulf within a matter of minutes. You can also rent boats in this general area, not at John's Pass specifically, but right across the inlet. So you would cross this drawbridge and there is a marina there. It's the John's Pass Marina and they have boats that you can rent. So whether you wanna rent a jet ski or whether you want to rent a boat, you can do that in this area. You can tell crossing the inlet, it's pretty close. It's not very far away. And this is a wonderful place to rent a boat or a jet ski and get on the water. First, like I mentioned, the Gulf is right there. It's really close access. You can get there really, really quickly. But also there's a pretty famous sandbar just off of John's Pass. While we're not going out there today, I did wanna show you the sandbar. So it's not as busy as it does get, even though there are a lot of boats out there. So that is what we are looking at. That becomes quite a party. Not a super long boat ride. There's a bunch of ways to get there. A bunch of these you can see behind me as I, and as you've already seen, there's tons of boats along John's Pass. You can take a jet ski out there. So yeah, that's a fun thing to do. It's a beautiful day. I wish we were out there. Yeah, it gets much busier than that. <laughs> it's a very popular place. 
We also almost always see dolphins when we're here. Have not had any sightings yet today, but they are here a lot. <laughs> Definitely seen some pelicans. Also, the sandbar has gotten so popular lately that some of the local companies are even kind of taxiing people out there for various hours. So you can pay to get taken out there for two to four hours, however long you think you might want to stay. So that's an option too if you don't want to rent your own jet ski or boat to get out to the sandbar. There's a variety of restaurants at John's Pass. You can eat at chain restaurants like Hooters or Bubba Gump Shrimp. One of the local restaurants is called Walt's Fish Shack and it's a laid back fisherman themed spot with fresh fish. Walt's Fish Shack is very popular. It does not open until later in the afternoon for five o'clock or so. It is across from the boardwalk. So just in case you're looking for it. Very, very popular fish, seafood, good um, key lime pie. So this is a good option if you're here later in the day. You're also gonna find local favorites like Caddy's. On this day, we could not resist a good drink at Caddy's. We didn't eat there. We went somewhere else to eat, which I'll show you later. Um, we weren't quite hungry yet here, but they have live music a lot of the time and their drinks are phenomenal. So this is a cool spot right on the water to grab a drink or some food. John's Pass is also home to the Alligator and Wildlife Discovery Center. It's a pretty unique space, but I will let Brian tell you more about it because he does a much better job than me. We are a rescue center. We have over 250 different animals here, over seven different rooms. Our facility consists of pet surrendered, pet abandonment, or zoos and sanctuaries that we're partners with. Mm -hmm. We uh, transfer some animals to them, they transfer some animals to us. It's a really good facility to come by. We try to educate people on exotic pets. A lot of people don't realize buying exotic pets, it's a lot of work to take care of. So we try to educate on, oh, if you wanna buy this pet, we try to let you know, do your research first, things like that. Good facility, come and check us out. We made one final stop at John's Pass to the arcade before leaving, and we did decide to leave John's Pass for lunch so that we could show you a variety of food options. John's Pass is amazing. It's probably one of our favorite things about Madeira Beach, and I highly recommend visiting, but Madeira Beach is more than just John's Pass, and so we wanted to show you some of the other restaurant options as well. So this is Dockside Dave's where we ate lunch. It's just down the street and it's a cute little restaurant where we both enjoyed our fresh grouper sandwiches. Really good food, cute restaurant. I highly recommend Dockside Dave's. Mitchell's a copycat. Uh, copycat. We both got the blackened grouper. Looks so good. We also both got a Bud Light Lime. <laughs> Our last stop of the day was at the famous candy kitchen. They have every sweet that you could possibly want including nostalgic candies from childhood. They've been open since the 50s and it's really a staple for the area. It's not uncommon for there to be lines out the door in the evening. A lot of people who come and visit Madeira Beach make this their go-to. Every single time they visit, it's tradition for them to stop here. And I think that that's really cool. Here are our goods from Candy Kitchen. 
I got this fudge sampler, all these different kinds of fudge, and Mitch got all these gummies, They're all these different kinds. I love, I love this egg gummy. How cool is that? We love doing videos that you request, so if you have any requests on videos, we would love to hear what they are. We love exploring our state, whether it's a place we've been before or whether it's new. Either way, we just love doing it and sharing it with you. So let us know in the comments if there's anywhere you would like us to go. Otherwise, stay tuned to see where we wind up next. I never knew that I could like tell the difference between a crocodile and an alligator, but I can. Yeah, they look way different. This one has teeth on the outside of its mouth. He just looks so much more mean, doesn't he? Oh, he's moving. Oh, that's me. It's you. Hey. <laughs>